playing Power World makes you a tool rather than a gamer? Oh my god. So a few days ago, Eurogamer tweeted this out saying, Playing Power World gives off the impression of playing a product designed to be sold rather than to be played. You will. Sure seems like a lot of people are playing it. I don't know. They'll feel like a mark, and you'll be right. Mm -hmm. Our early impressions. You will feel here. like a mark? And I'm just thinking, like, what are these fools talking about? Of course the game needs sales, but it's clearly meant to be a fun game. It's like the complete opposite of what they're trying to say. You don't feel like a mark for playing it, like you were just sold something that doesn't work. It's a very functional, fun game. And compared to how the AAA industry, nickel and dimes players these I days... I really don't like how people try to turn scam into buying something I disagree with. You didn't get scammed whenever you buy a game you don't like. Like, a scam is whenever you buy a game, and inside of the jewel case of the game, it's a sheet of paper that has a sad face on it instead of the disc. That's a scam. <laughs> Like, what are we talking about? I got scammed whenever I bought the game that I didn't like. It's also got a very reasonable price. And the journalist who wrote that article, Chris Tapsell, is just getting obliterated in the comments. This tweet, for example, with over 6,600 likes versus the Eurogamer tweet getting 1K says, it's I mean, the thing is, like, this is what journalism does. Like, this has 5.9 million interactions, or sorry, impressions. Like, that's why Eurogamer is publishing this. And, like, if this guy gets too much heat, Eurogamer just fires him. And then, what do you think? Whenever they fire him, they're like, Google, yeah, um, we, uh, we put out an, uh, um, an article that was uh, really incendiary, and it turned out that it was wrong. And so we're going to ask you to hold on to all that ad revenue from that video and yeah, just hold on to it. And uh, we, we don't feel like it would be ethical for us to take the ad revenue now that the video's been proven wrong. You think you think Eurogamer's gonna do that? I've got a feeling they're not. I got a good feeling that's not gonna happen. Seems like a fact. $27. It has zero microtransactions. Chris Tapsell should be embarrassed for writing this nonsense. Bad journalism, bud. Another response, this one with 16,000 likes, says, Call of Duty skins are the same price as this full game. There's nothing gaming journalists despise more than gamers. And that's People why, uh, oh, he locked his account? Oh, wow, what a fucking moron. Like, what a fucking pussy, man. Oh, my fucking, God. what a, what a little bitch. Oh, my God. Like, you're gonna lock your account? Like, oh. How do you write an article and then people are like, this is, we don't agree, we think you're, like, none of these were, like, th none of these were, like, harassment or anything like that. Like, what the fuck? Also pointed out how the the, the, the journalist has gone into protected mode. Oh, now. my okay, God, so what you, a you're pussy. You're like, send this, like, inflammatory Jesus. article and just, like, go into protected mode on Twitter. Very brave man here. Very, very impressive. Make an account on the digital public square. Lock your account. The state of journalists. Meanwhile exactly. Like, thank God people are calling this shit out. Like, if somebody has a bad opinion on something, everybody is within their right to say, I think this is stupid. Like, what the fuck? How do you... And it's also like... It's like you stick your head inside a beehive, and then bees start stinging you. And you're like, well, how did this happen to me? How is it? That you think that going and shitting on an extremely popular game like this isn't going to get this reaction. Well, as the journalists rage, we have people playing Power World saying stuff like, this made me love the game even more. And just posting like cute little clips This is like what's this. so disappointing about gaming journalism, is because clowns like this guy, absolute pussies like this guy, are the reasons why gamers celebrate access journalism by Warner Brothers whenever certain outlets don't get review copies of the Suicide Squad because they know the game is dog shit and they don't want people to be able to give feedback. 
They don't want people to know that. It's so, and, and like, the thing is, like, why is it that I have to make an argument for why access journalism is bad? Like, isn't it fucking obvious? It's not because the gaming journalists are, in people's minds, worse. They're worse. So, like, they see this asshole that's putting out this information on what they believe to be, like, a, you know, like a public platform that has some degree of authenticity and, like, seriousness. And then this asshole is typing out all this bullshit. And then, oh, now you don't get a key? Well, that's what you fucking get. Now, they don't see the bigger picture. I get that. But, like, it's not their job to. It's just disappointing that we're in a world now where this is the norm. Yes. There you go. There was another really funny clip I saw this morning, but I wasn't like yeah. planning to use it for a video, and I don't remember where it was. I think it was like a YouTube short. Maybe it was on Reddit. I can't find it now, though. I spent That's like a, a half shot. hour looking for oh, it. Wait, never mind. But it was like someone riding a freaking giant teddy bear with a rocket launcher, just like shooting freaking rockets at some like poacher base. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. This game is so random and funny. And, yo, know, if you don't like this game, that's fine. You don't you don't have to like Power World. It's just that some of these journalists are so obnoxious. Like, oh, you're basically a mark. You're basically a tool if you bought Power World. And given all that's going on in so the AAA... you're going to be a mark. Like, bro, I'm going to tell you something. Like, how many hours I put in this piece of shit game? This piece of shit copy-paste Pokemon knockoff? 91 hours. How many hours I put in Starfield? 67. You know, I uninstalled Starfield to download Power World. I did. I paid a hundred dollars for this dick in a box. It wasn't even a dick in a box. Well, it was. It was just. It was. It was flaccid. Like you want to talk about a scam? I felt scammed by this one. I felt like I got goofed. <laughs> I got goofed around with this game. This one definitely not. The gaming industry overall. Mm -hmm. It's also just great timing seeing all these various indie games doing so well. Very good for the players, too, in my opinion. Which but is the only there. thing that matters. Consider letting me know what you think in the comments, and consider liking and or subscribing if you enjoyed this segment, and thanks for tuning in. There it is. Yeah, I fucking agree with that. Like, I mean, it's just like, I can't believe, like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you know that this is an inflammatory article. You know this, man. And then you do it, and people say, I'm inflamed. Yeah, of course, because you're being inflammatory. Like, it's just crazy. Like, it, it's a, you, you go and you're fucking with a beehive, and then you're like, why am I keep getting stung? S get the fuck away from the beehive. You can't handle the heat. Get out of the kitchen. That's what I fucking think. Jesus. Help. I, I'm being oppressed. I'm being oppressed. People are disagreeing with me. Oh, my God.